Hi, everyone. I want to brag that I am an incredibly cool businessman. Recently, I opened my own business selling houses and other real estate, and now the money is flowing to me just like a river. You can't imagine how successful my business is. But today, my workday is over. So I will ask my personal driver to take me home because my family is waiting for me there. And here comes my dear secretary. Hey, I'm done for the day. Can you tell me if my driver's here yet? Of course, Mr. JJ. You may go. Have a good day. Goodbye. Thanks. You have a good night, too. See you tomorrow. That's it. It's time to go home after a full day at my favorite job. Here comes my driver's car to take me home to my favorite family. Good evening, Mr. JJ. Your wife says she's very much looking forward to seeing you. I also stopped by the car wash and washed the car especially for you and vacuumed the interior so you'll have a pleasant ride home tonight. Will you need to go anywhere else today or should I take you straight home? If my beloved wife didn't say anything else, we'll go straight home. And yes, thank you for washing the car. The ride home is several times more pleasant than last time. If you manage to wash the car every time before picking me up, I'll be willing to pay you twice as much just for the feeling of a clean... Okay, well, I'm here now. I think the family will be happy I got off work early today. Now I have to make my wife happy by giving her some of the money I earned today. I think she'll need it for some of her walks or trips to the spa, but it doesn't matter. I don't spare anything for her. So, uh, hey, hey, everybody, I'm home. What's up, family? Did you miss me? I hope so, because I missed you guys a lot. Oh, JJ, honey, hi, how are you doing? We really missed you too. Did you get off work early today? How was your day? Yeah. I'm I'm fine. Here you go. I've got some money here, so I'm giving it to you for personal expenses. Spend it however you want. Daddy, daddy! Listen, JJ, could you go to the store? I already made a list. I'm just cooking right now, and I can't leave the stove for too long. If it's not too much trouble, could you please buy what you need? Daddy, I want to go with you. Why don't you stay and help your mom, and I'll go to the store. It won't take long, so don't worry. I'll be right back. It's okay. You're gonna be mom's best kitchen helper ever. Yeah, dad's right, especially since it will soon be dark dark outside and it will not be safe for small children to be there, you should stay at home and daddy will come back faster if he goes alone. So I've sent you the list by text message on your phone. Don't forget anything, please. Okay, I'm gonna get back to making dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick trip to the store and come back, especially since it wasn't that hard for me to do anyway. And anyway, when was the last time I went out alone? Moments later. It's nice to be outside. It's been a long time since I've been out alone. Hmm, I should probably do that more often because it's so nice, especially after a day at work. Hey you, loser, come here, let's talk to you. <laughs> I can see you're just kidding yourself, pretending you're so cool, but you're really no good at all. What, what are you saying? I don't understand. Look, leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you. I have a family at home, a wife, a kid. Jesus, what do you want from me? Don't bother bother me. Let me just give you all the money I have on me and you get out of here. We'll just part ways peacefully. I don't want to risk my life over nothing. Come on, empty your pocket. Give me everything you got. But if I don't have enough, I'll take your life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hurry up. Is that it? You look like you should have more money on you. Wait, that's really all I have with me. I was just walking home from the store. Please leave me alone. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great day today. I made money and groceries. I'm so lucky. <laughs> I'm the luckiest guy in the world now. Okay, I gotta get out of here before someone from the police sees me or my whole plan is ruined. So be it, you pompous turkey. You'll know how to brag about your riches. You don't deserve, deserve because I don't care where you got it from. Three hours later. Mom, what's taking dad so long? He said he'd be back soon, but it's been hours and he's still not here. What if something happened? I told you we should go together. I don't know, baby. He's not even answering his cell phone. It's just so weird. I hope it's nothing bad because I'm worried. Oh, wait, son, I think someone's on the phone. Maybe it's JJ? Hello, I'm listening. Good evening. This is police headquarters number one calling for you. We have to inform you that your husband, Mr. JJ, has been killed in a street fight. The circumstances are being investigated. Please accept our condolences. Oh my God, what? Four to six days later. Mom, is it true that dad's never coming back to us? Why did this happen? Did some bad uncle attack him? But daddy's a good man. Why did he have to be attacked? Unfortunately, yes, son. Daddy will never come back to us. You see, 
Not all people in this world are good. So they attacked Daddy. Oh my God, that's terrible. JJ, you have no idea how much we miss you. Hmm? What's going on? Huh? It's my wife and son, but why are they talking like that and what are they doing in a cemetery? No, don't tell me they're saying goodbye to me. It turns out I was killed that night on my way home. I don't think they see me. Hey, can you hear me? Apparently not either. I guess I'm really out of this world now. Oh, what a nightmare. I can't even imagine how they can live without me now that none of them work. What about my successful and profitable business? I can't even imagine and what to do now and how to help them. I never thought ghosts existed and now I'm one myself and it's no fun at all because there's nothing I can do. I can't be seen or heard. My family thinks they'll never see me again. I can't just let it go. I have to do something about it. I have to come back to life no matter what. I'll have to follow that Skabidi to find out where he is to avenge myself and the problems my family will have to face so he'll never dare do anything like that to anyone ever again. The next day. What? Who are you? What do you want? Get out of here. We're in mourning. Please go away. Good afternoon. We understand everything, but the fact is that you haven't paid your bills for a long time. You see, for electricity and gas, you should pay for everything. Otherwise, we will have to confiscate your house to pay off the debt. We hope you understand the gravity of the situation. Otherwise, we really have to do this. God, I knew there would be problems sooner or later, but I never imagined it would happen so soon. It's just a nightmare, but they won't kick a mother and child out out into the street. After all, they should give at least a little time so that they can find money to pay the bills for the house. Well, we realize that you're not going to pay your bills, so we're going to take a look at your property to assess its value. But I think there's enough here to pay for everything you owe. We have nothing else to offer you, so we can only wish you good luck. Oh my god, why did I do all this? I don't have the money to pay for it all. Where will I go with my son? I'll have to live in an abandoned house and eat leftovers. Mom, those guys kicked me out of the house. I didn't have time to do anything and pick up my toys. Are we going somewhere? What's going on? I'm sorry, son, but we're gonna have to move to another house and live there. This house isn't ours anymore. But it's okay. We have each other, so we'll get through this. What a setback. What am I supposed to do now? Well, I guess I really have to find that Skibidi, follow him, and find out where he's hiding to get revenge for all this. And that's the only option I have. Two hours later. Okay, well, I've managed to track down the man who robbed and killed me, so I've come to this abandoned building. He's inside now. I need to get in. I don't have a clear plan of action because I have no idea what's in store for me, but I'm kind of lucky that no one can see me. Otherwise, I would have been spotted as soon as I got to the base. It looks terrible. All right, I just need to figure out where he's sitting and figure out what to do. Hmm, I hear voices from the basement. They're definitely downstairs. I should go down there and check them out. Out. Yeah, just like I knew they would. When I look at them, they make me hate them because they're the ones who ruined my life. Hmm? What? There's a chest? Oh, that chest is my money. It's the money he stole from me when I tried to pay him off so he wouldn't do anything to me. But it didn't work. It's time to get back what's rightfully mine. Well, since they can't see me anyway, I can open this chest completely unnoticed and get my money back. That should be enough for my family for a while until my wife finds a job. Oh great, all my money's here. Cool, yeah. So I'm just gonna take everything that's in here. Hmm, is that a little bomb? I think I'll take it too, just in case. I'll consider myself lucky. Well, for that matter, I could just blow the place up so the building and those scoundrels blow up. I won't get anything for it, haha. -ha. But I'll finish my revenge well, haha. -ha. It's cool though, I fooled that guy. We made a lot of money, so now all we have to do is split it 90-10 like we agreed. Because I did all the work. Hmm, do you hear that weird sound? It's like something beeping. Hey, what is that? Is that some kind of bomb? What? Five minutes later. Mom, I don't like living here. I want to go back to our big and beautiful house. And I realize that I forgot my toys there. And without them, I have nothing to do here. And it's just awful. Why can't we go back? I'm sorry, son. But to live in that house, we had to pay money. And without daddy, we don't have any. So we have to live here until I get a job and earn my own money. Okay, mom, I get it. I'm sorry, I won't whine anymore. 
Anyway, after I managed to get my money back and get rid of Skibidi, I found out where my family lives now, and I decided to bring all this money here to give it to my wife, because she needs it now more than I do. Hopefully, it will be some kind of support for her, because I don't spare anything for her. It's just sad that she won't see me, but I hope she'll realize who the money's from because I don't spare anything for her. It's just sad that she won't see me, but I hope she'll realize who the money's from. Mommy, look, we got money. Now we can pay our bills and go back to our cool house. It must have been daddy who dropped that money out of the sky so we could live well again. All right, I am very happy to see my family getting better. Unfortunately, they will have to live without me now, but I believe in them, which means they will do well. The only sad thing is that I have to disappear soon, but I will do it with a smile because I will be calm for the future of my family. Hi friends, my name is JJ. What a good day today. I don't even know what would be so interesting to do today. Maybe watch cartoons. Uh-oh, someone's calling my house? I should open the door. JJ, did you fall asleep in there? Mikey, hey, you're here early today. Hey JJ, I've got this cool bike in the house. Do you want to go for a ride with me? Great idea, Mikey. I'm in. The last time I rode this bike was when I was a kid. Oh, you can hardly sit on that bike at all. You're so clumsy and inept. So I'm gonna ride it and you're gonna watch it. Is it hard to ride a bike at all? Um, I don't know, but it's worth a try. I'm not giving it to you anyway. Uh, okay. I'll watch you fall face first into the ground. I'm not going to fall. Some six-year-old kids can ride it easily. But I'm an adult and I can do it too. Actually, I'm an adult too and quite agile enough to handle a regular bike. I don't care how mature you are. The bike belongs to me and I'm going to ride it. You can just watch and be jealous. That's kind of unfair. The bike is red and I'm red, so I have to ride first. It's too late. I already sat on it. It. Look, this isn't as hard as I thought it would be. Wow, let me try it too. You wait, kid. Let the uncles play. Look what tricks I can do. Watch it, Mikey. You're gonna fall down again and cry all day. Ha ha ha. It's so cool to ride on one wheel. Everyone can immediately see that I am a professional cyclist. I can still jump on this wheel. Watch out. It's getting dangerous, Mikey. I don't want to take you apart. Out of my... Ouch! Ha 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 ha. You fell. Less bragging, Mikey. You're so clumsy. Get up already. Stop lying down. That was very... Very painful, JJ. I landed squarely with my knee on the floor. I also fell right in front of a beautiful girl. Oh, well, yeah. I guess she's a pretty girl. Oh, looks like I'm in love, JJ. She's a very pretty girl. Then go meet her right now. Otherwise, she'll run away and you'll never see her again. Come with me, because I'm too shy to do it alone. Um, okay. Hello, beautiful. What's your name? My name is Elena. What's yours? And mine's Mikey. I liked you so much, you know. Oh, my God. He's doing it so ridiculously. I'd like that, to go out with you sometime. That's a good idea, by the way. By the way, do you have any girlfriends for me, too? Because it's not cool to go out with you guys alone. Uh, I have a girlfriend at my house. I think I can get her to meet you. That's great. Then we can all go out, all four of us. It'll be great. Then meet me tomorrow near here. Nice to meet you guys. I really liked you, too. Bye-bye. I'm waiting for your girlfriend. Ha ha ha. She's so funny, I forgot to ask her name. Let's go for a bike ride. There's still plenty of time before tonight anyway. But I want to go out with that hottie already. I'm not interested in the bike. You'll still make it. Let's go for a walk already. Okay, let's go. Only this time I want to ride a bike. I think you've had enough for today. Uh, okay, suit yourself. I don't want to ride it anymore. Okay. Three hours later. And here is the exact house where that beautiful girl invited us. We should probably get her name. That's right. We totally forgot about that. This house looks too familiar, Mikey. I don't know what you mean. I got flowers for that chick. Whoa! Ha ha! Mikey! I see you've prepared well for this meeting. She's sure to love it. Go ring her doorbell. I can't wait to meet that girl. I liked her so much. And there's their house. Mikey, try to be polite and don't call anyone Chica. It's uncivilized. I don't care at all. I have a feeling she's gonna like it that way. Hey, open up. The guests are here. Hello? Oh, hello. Who are you? You're the guys Mickey was talking about. Wow, you're so beautiful. And you're wearing red too. I think I'm in love too. So cute and pretty. Anyway, we forgot to meet. My name is JC and my friend Mickey. You know, I'm so bored at home. Oh my god, what a figure. I would totally date her. Uh, JJ, actually, I could hear you just now. Oh my god, please forgive me. It's just a thought out loud. Hey, Mickey, 
come here. Our boys are here. Hee hee. Hey there, ladies. I brought a bouquet for my lady. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. By the way, what's your name? My name is JJ. And my name is Mikey. We're brothers. Two handsome brothers, let me tell you. Well, let's all go for a walk together. Let's go. That's what we came here for. Let's go play on the playground. Stop talking already. You know, I've never been in a relationship. I don't even know what it's like to hold a girl's hand to kiss her. It's horrible for me. Stop whining, JJ. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. It's worth a try. Oh my god, is that the idiot I'm gonna date? Oh, that's a shame. Six months later. Oh my god, I've been asleep for so long. There's that fat cow lying next to me again. She's pissing me off. It's time to stretch a little after bedtime. Ouch, who's ringing my doorbell? Does Mikey need something again? Wake up, JJ. Open this door, it's an emergency. I'm coming, Mikey. Don't make so much noise. JC's still asleep. Oh my god. What else do you want? First of all, hello, JJ. Second of all, I found a super cool place to ride my bike there. Do you want to ride a bike again? Well, yeah, it's fun. Everyone needs to exercise to keep from getting fat. Let's go for a ride. Stop talking. Do you realize that I actually slept with my girlfriend and you dragged me out of the house and took me to some cool place? You could spend time with your girlfriend, too. I'm sick of spending all my free time with her. You and I so rarely go out together. Um, well, yeah, you're right. Let's go for a ride, then. I'm so glad you said yes. I promise you, this is the coolest place you'll ever see in your life. I'm gonna do the coolest stunt ever. You're such a braggart, Mikey. Come on, let's go show it to me. I'm not bragging. If you're an extreme sports enthusiast like me, JJ, you'll definitely love it there. Uh, okay. So where is this super duper place of yours? This is the place. Here on top of the mountain, we're gonna do all kinds of tricks. It's very easy to fall down here. That's why it's so exciting. This is a very bad idea. I don't even want to get on bike here. And I don't advise you to be here either. Wow, it's really high up here. Imagine how long it'll take you to fall down. That's really cool. There's nothing cool about it. Mikey, it's very dangerous. Please, let's get out of here. Oh, you're such a chicken, JJ. I'm not the chicken, you're the idiot. In this life, you must always be brave. It's the only way to be a real man. Mikey, you don't understand. This bravery won't get you anywhere. You're risking your life for nothing. Oh, you're such a whiny little baby, JJ. If you don't want to ride, just look at me. I've been riding a lot better since then. Okay, you're awesome. Now let's go home. Calm down. I have the situation under control. Look how I can jump on one wheel. I've seen it before. Hey, stop! Don't go backwards. You're going to fall. Stop joking around. Stop, Mikey! Uh... Oh my god. No, Mikey, are you alive in there? I don't think he'd survive a fall from that height. I'm coming to you now. Friends, don't do such dangerous stunts on a bicycle, okay? I gotta go save Mikey. What an idiot he is. I have to help him out again. I hope it wasn't painful. Ha ha ha. Mikey, get up. Stop scaring me. Uh, Mikey, are you okay? I think he collapsed and he's not regaining consciousness. Oh my god, this is not good at all. It's time to call an ambulance on the phone. I hope they come quickly and help him. I don't want Mikey dying in front of me. Hello, ambulance. My friend fell down the mountain. Very good. Where are you now? We're at the highest mountain in the county. Okay, we're on our way. Wait for us. Okay, god, Mikey, hold on. The ambulance is on its way. Friends, if you want Mikey to survive, like this video. Uh-oh, what is that? That's the ambulance coming. Coming. That was fast. At this rate, Mikey will be fixed in no time. Hurry up and help Mikey. His leg must be broken. Hello, what's wrong? My friend fell down the mountain on his bike. Help him. Keep your voice down, young man. I'm the doctor here, not you. So what? Hurry up and give him shots, bandages. I don't know. Did he really fall from that height? Yeah, he was crushed to smithereens. He's not even recovering from the fall. He's very sick. Okay, then he needs to get to the hospital right away. We'll try to help him there. But let me tell you right away, there's very little chance chance of survival. What? Mikey could die? But my viewers will probably put a lot of likes on the video, and he will survive. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come to the hospital for more information. We will do our best to save this cyclist life. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for your help. I have high hopes for you, doctor. I'm never riding a bike again. It's too traumatic. Friends, aren't you afraid to ride a bike? Write it in the comments!
The doctor said to come to this particular hospital. I'm so worried about Mikey. They must be in this office. I'll wait for them here. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This way, Mikey will definitely survive. At least I'm willing to do anything to help my brother. Where's my boyfriend? What happened to him? Oh, it's Mickey. Whoa, JJ, you're here too. What happened to Mikey? He wanted to show me his cool bike tricks on the mountain, but unfortunately, he fell off it. What? You two idiots? Why didn't you stop him? Mikey's totally crazy. Hey, I tried to stop him, but you know how hard that is to do. What if he really dies? It'll be all your fault. Oh my god, I can't even imagine that happening. The doctor's coming, and we'll find out from him. Hello, you must be Mikey's friends. Well, I have some not-so-good news for you. <laughs> What's so funny? Is Mikey alive? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Show us Mikey right now. Okay, you're not gonna like this at all. Let's go to the room. I don't know how to tell you this. No more silence. Tell us straight. He's obviously hiding something from us. There's Mikey. He's got all his bones broken. Oh my god, but he's gonna make it, right? Unfortunately, he's dead. I'm so sorry. What? This can't be happening. That was my favorite boyfriend. And that's my brother. Oh my god. I can't live without him. I loved him so much. He died a long time ago. Why didn't you save him? You're a doctor. Some awful doctor. I can't live without him. I'm alone now, without a boyfriend. Hey, stop. You're the worst doctor ever. Mickey, Mikey was the best friend to all of us. Don't feel bad. Please, don't cry. I'll always be by your side. You don't understand anything. Mikey was my whole life, and now he's gone. We've been a family for a long time. Please don't walk away from me. Ew, it's starting to stink already. What am I supposed to do with his body? I wish I could have saved him. What an idiot he is to start riding right on the mountain. All his relatives are on the mountain now because of his stupidity. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Wow, we had a nice ride with you after all. I'll have to learn more bike tricks. Yeah, JJ, where are you hiding? Where am I? It smells like alcohol and some kind of medicine. This place looks like a hospital. Uh, what? Is that my body? Am I dead? Oh, that's not cool at all. I shouldn't have done those super cool stunts on the mountain. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do right now. I've become a ghost. I can walk through walls, scare people who pass by, but I don't need any of that. I'd like to see my Mickey. Hey, stop. Wait for me. Don't run away. Stop taking offense. You have no idea how much I loved Mikey. We had fun together. We ate. We played. We slept. And now he's gone. Who do I live with now? I can help you with all of that. You should get some sleep. You'll feel better the next day. How can you help me with this? Mikey's the only one who can calm me down. I can calm you down. Come on, I'll help you sleep. Oh, uh, well, come on. I don't know what that's gonna do. You're gonna love it for sure. Ha 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 ha. You just need to relax. Mikey's not gonna see me now anyway. I'm not so sure about that anyway. You're so beautiful, you know. A good girl like you shouldn't go without a boyfriend. You're right. I am so pretty and without a boyfriend. Maybe you can replace Mikey. Of course I can replace him. You get down. Now you're going to enjoy it. JJ, please be gentle with me, okay? Ha ha ha. I'll be the most gentle man in the world. Wow. You're so much better than Mikey, you know. I'm better than him at everything. Here I am. I'm still alive and I can see you. Oh, what are you guys even doing here? Yeah, you're the best. Wow. Ah ha ha ha. Wow. I feel so good. Good thing Mikey can't see us. Oh, what a freak that JJ is. I just died an hour ago. Oh my god. One million zillion jillion Dillion cotillion times later. On this sunny, beautiful day, Mikey and I are playing on the playground. Hey, hey! We have a new playground at the orphanage! Yeah! Our center has repaired everything. And they also bought a lot of toys. It is so much more fun to be in our orphanage now. They also grew a new forest where we sometimes go for walks with our group. Too bad we're not allowed to go there alone. Guys, come here. Who's that? A teacher at our orphanage is calling us. It's time to go eat. You're already playing and you're late for lunch. She's calling us into the building to eat, Mikey. I heard that, JJ. You guys have been playing outside for a long time. We have to go eat. Don't worry, you can play again later. Then let's go eat quickly. Yeah. And I'm already hungry and don't mind getting some extra energy. I hope there will be a delicious lunch today and not like yesterday's broccoli soup. Broccoli soup is very healthy, JJ. Come on in. The other kids are long past lunchtime. As long as those kids don't eat our lunch. What are you talking about, JJ? There's one plate for every two people. No one's gonna eat your lunch. That's what I believed. Are you guys joking around again? Hee hee hee. Let's go eat before the food gets cold. We'll eat and go about our business. Sure, we're right in the business, Mikey. There's your table over there. You can sit down. Enjoy your meal. Thank you very much. It smells really good. Let's go eat. I wonder if everyone here has the same food? Or do they give someone else different food? I don't know, JJ. Look at that. They're all different. But our food isn't lamb poop. Let's eat already. Do you like being here, JJ? Yes, of course I do. It's beautiful. 
and the food is delicious. I would eat here more often. I meant at the orphanage. Do you like it? Ah, yeah, I like it here. The people here are nice. They treat us well, too. The food is good, too. On the whole, I agree with you, JJ. Guys, let's finish eating. We're scheduled for an afternoon nap. Oh, no. What daytime nap? We wanted to go for another walk. Yeah, and I haven't finished eating yet. But on the other hand, I don't mind lying down and resting for a while. I agree with you, Mikey. Let's go get some rest. Can we go to our playground again with JJ after the day's rest? Yes, after your vacation, you can go play. Cool, Mikey. Let's stay in bed for an hour and go play. Thank you, orphanage teacher. You're welcome. Go to your room. Bye. How lucky we are that she is very kind. Let's go get some rest, JJ. Yeah, that's right. I have heard that many teachers are cruel and unfair to their students. That's awful. It shouldn't be like this. Write in the comments if your teachers are good and if you like them. This is our room, JJ. We can come in and relax. How convenient that we have a room for two with no extra people. It's true. What a beautiful and cozy room, too. I love it here. I love it here, too. And the beds are comfortable. Let's get some rest, JJ. Nice. I just have a favor to ask of you. Can you go to the store with me? I'm a little undernourished. We'll go back and forth quickly and rest. All right, Mikey, let's go. Just as long as nobody sees us. Thank you, JJ. Let's go see if anyone's in the hallway. You just have to be quiet as a mouse or they'll scold you. I'm out, JJ. I don't think anyone's around, so let's take it slow. That's great. Everything's going according to plan. Let's hurry up and go before anyone sees us. I love what we're doing. I got a little adrenaline rushing through my body. Take your time, Mikey. There might be people here who can see us. Don't be so hard on yourself. I've been through everything. No one's here. We can go. Cool, Mikey. I have a lot of fun doing that. Yay! It adds a new emotion to ordinary life. Here we are. This is the closest store. And it's also a good store. There is a very large selection. He also works all night. We can come here at 1 in the morning. What do you want to get for yourself at the store? Something tasty. We should go look. That's right. Hello. We're here to buy groceries. Hello, guys. Sure, come on in and buy whatever you want. Thank you. We'll quickly buy everything and go. Let's go this way, JJ. Let's see what we can buy. There's a huge selection of what you can buy, Mikey. And t-shirts and trinkets. You can even buy fruit. Yes, it's a very nice store, JJ. I like it. We should buy one already and go to our orphanage. Cashier, now give me all your money. Look at Mikey. It's a robber with a gun. Oh, my God, JJ. What are we going to do? I'm scared. Let's run away. No, Mikey. We have to stop him. Hey, you robber, stop doing that. Have you lost your fear? Get out of here, boy, or I'll shoot you. No, we're not leaving here. You don't have to do this. Put your gun away and stop scaring ordinary civilians. You think you're the bravest? Then take a bullet in the head. <laughs> Mikey, it's okay. I'm alive. Is that me lying down? Am I dead? Mikey, I'm here. Look over here. Can you see me? Have I become a ghost? Did I really get killed? I should have listened to Mikey. JJ, why did you even go to him? I told you to run away. I wanted to save you. I thought he wouldn't shoot me. Hear me, Mikey. We should run to the orphanage and tell them what happened. How am I supposed to live without you, JJ? I'm right here, Mikey. Two hours later. I don't know what's going on, but I think I've become a ghost. Hey, Mikey, stop. Where are you going so fast? Stop crying already. I'm not completely dead yet. Please calm down. You're such a crybaby. Oh, my God. He can't even hear me. Mikey, you have to tell the teacher. She should call the police over there. Stop whining and start taking action. So, you want to adopt Mikey? That's a very good option. Who? There he is. A very obedient and handsome boy. He's in tears, but that doesn't matter. What kind of people are these? They're here to adopt Mikey? What about me? He can't be taken alone. We're taking him. Yes, a good worker. I don't agree. I'm not going anywhere. What? How dare you talk to dad like that? Do you want to adopt him yet? Take him now. Okay, pack it up. We're going to be great parents. Let me go. Let Mikey go now. He's my brother. I'm not going to let you just take him away. It's not a thing. Come again. We have a lot of unwanted children. You are always welcome. One is enough for us for now. What? Why so fast? You guys are weird. I'm not leaving you, Mikey. Three hours later. Stop. Don't go away! You're not taking my Mikey away from me! He's my brother! Give him back to me! It's not your toy! We're finally here, darling. This little guy screamed so much on the way. You're bad! I don't want to be your son! Shut up, ow, you ow, little ow, baby! Ow, ow, ow. 
Let's go inside. We need to find a normal place for him. Let him go right now, you two stupid adults. They're treating my brother too badly. How can I help him? I'm just a ghost. Shake him up. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. That's it. He needs to be treated better. He'll work for us without rest. What kind of work? He's just a kid. Friends, do you also think it's a bad idea to work as a child? Write about it in the comments. It's a time for fun and relaxation. It's against the law to work at that age. We're too young for that. Where are you taking him? I think you'll be comfortable in this basement. That's where we're going to keep that stupid kid. It's not a dog. People don't live in a cage. Now you're going to live here. You have a lot of work tomorrow. What kind of work? You adopted me. I don't want to live here. Now you sit there, kid. I'm not some animal. I'm a human being. Let me out, please. You'll get out of here just to get a job. No one will come and help you. I'll help. You can't do this to me. You'll be deprived of your parental rights. We don't care. No one will find you. You are the worst parents ever. Jesus, Mikey. <laughs> Hold on. I'll never leave you here alone. I'm going to find a way to get you out of here. Please don't cry. How could our teacher give you away so easily to these freaks? We just have to not give up. Yeah, sleep is what we need right now. The grates here are too strong. I don't know how Mikey can break them with his little hands. There's nothing I can do to help him. The next day. Oh my God, can ghosts sleep too? I didn't know that. Hey, wake up there. The prisoner's starved. Give me some soup, lots of soup. Yeah, Mikey's pretty pissed off today. I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. I'm going to chew on these bars. Who was yelling at me this morning? I'm going to punch you in the head. I forbid you to make that kind of noise. I can't live without food for long. Oh, you're hungry, huh? We have jobs for you around the house. You get it done, you can eat. Come on, get out of here and go to the first floor. How vile you guys are. Come on, come on, follow me, baby. Okay, I'm on my way. I wonder what kind of job awaits him. Oh my god, there's so much garbage. They're really dirty pigs. Here's a rake for you. Go and clean it. Mikey's gonna take forever to clean this place alone. There's no way I'd clean this place up. Get started now. Oh my god, why did they bring the trash cans in off the street? Street. Don't even think about running away from here, kid. We have huge locks on the main door. You're gonna stay here forever. It's a good idea to adopt you, isn't it? Also, all the windows have bars. Escape is impossible. It's not a house. It's a big prison. Come on, do some janitorial work. And we'll go have fun. While they're laying there, Mikey's gonna be working here alone. How am I supposed to get out of here? There's no way out. If JJ were around right now, maybe we could get out of this place. Mikey, I'm here. Why can't you hear me? JJ, are you here or am I imagining things. I'm here. I'm in ghost form. You can hear me, but you can't see me. Oh, that's awesome. I knew you wouldn't leave me, my brother. Mikey, you need to get out of here right now. We just have to find a way to do it. I have no idea where the weak spot is in this house. We need to look. This house can't be perfect in terms of defense. But Mikey, I don't see any way to escape at all. JJ, you're a ghost. You can walk through walls. Fly through that wall behind the painting. Uh, really? I've never done that. I don't think I can do it. So try it right now. We don't have any other options. Okay, okay. I've never done this before. It's even easier than I thought. So what do we have here? Some old garage and an exit to the street. But how do I get Mikey out here? Friends, would you like to be able to fly through walls? Write about it in the comments. And I still don't know how to get Mikey out of here. Mikey, there's an exit to the street behind that wall. I can't break down walls or carry you through them. Uh, so there's an exit behind this wall? All we have to do is break it down. Yeah, but Mikey, how are you gonna break down that solid wall? I don't know. Maybe I should try to break it with my rake. A rake? But you need them for leaves and trash. JJ, that's a very sturdy rake. Plus, the wall here is pretty rotten. Perfect place for a hole. Seriously? You just break down walls like that? You're a genius. Yeah, I'm surprised at how easy it was. And they spent a lot of money to buy locks and install bars on the windows. Yeah, they obviously didn't expect this from us. Now where do we go? We're going back to the orphanage. That's the only place where we can have a normal life. Uh-oh, I think I'm disappearing. What's going on? Oh my god, where am I? You're in the hospital, kid. We were able to save your life. Before that, you were in a coma. Now you are back in the world of the alive. Whoa, cool. And I thought I was completely dead. But I'm still gonna make it through this life. Hey, we managed to get you out of that world. Don't risk your life like that again. Okay, I'll try my best. Thank you, doctor. That's my job. Glad you're alive again. I'm actually surprised a man survived a bullet to the forehead. You're a very lucky man. Nobody would have survived but you. Now go home. I have a lot of things to do. Thank you again, doctor. You're the best. Bye-bye. 
JJ. Mikey? You're alive! I'm so glad! My little brother is bulletproof! But what are you doing here, Mikey? I didn't tell you I was in the hospital. I didn't realize I was here myself. JJ, I'm your brother. I would never leave you. Your voice is gone. And you thought I'd wake up in a hospital. That's smart. Yeah, where else would you be? I don't think you'd still be lying in that store. You know anything can happen. It's good to be back together. Yes, I agree. Two hours later. <laughs> Today is Mikey and I's first day of school after summer vacation. We missed her so much, didn't we, Mikey? Yes, JJ, it's true. I really miss school. I wonder where they called our teacher. She's been gone for half a lesson. That's right, Mikey. I didn't even notice it. Perhaps the principal has called everyone into an emergency meeting, but for what reason? Hmm, I wonder. If so, that would be great. We haven't gone anywhere in a while, and here comes our teacher. Guys, I come to you with news. We can go on an excursion to the mountains. There will be very interesting, you will be told ancient stories. Show the traditions of the locals, and you can leave your mark on one of the mountains, making a print of your hand with paint. The cost of the excursion is five diamonds. Talk to your parents and those who will go. I am waiting tomorrow at nine o'clock at the bus stop. And do not be late, I ask you. Otherwise, we will leave without you. Guys, class is over. I'll see you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Mikey, you were right. We're going on a field trip. Yes! That's what I thought! It's been so long since we've been anywhere with the class. Let's hurry home and ask mom and dad for ten diamonds for the field trip. I'm sure they won't say no. Yeah, you're right. I don't think we'll be turned down this time either. Let's hurry home. They always give us diamonds on our field trips. Yes, I think this time will be no exception. Here we are outside the house. I hope our parents will be home. I think... They've already come home from work. Let's hurry up and ask them if they'll let us go on a field trip this time. All right. Only this time you ask them, for I asked them last time. So let's go in the house. Dad, Mom, come here. We have something to talk to you about. Is something wrong? Did something happen at school? Did someone hurt you? No, you've got it all wrong. It's fine, but... Just JJ wanted to tell you that we're having a field trip and we need 10 diamonds for two. Honey, give our kids diamonds for the trip. Okay, boys, here, take your 10 diamonds for the trip. Wow, thank you so much. Mom, Dad, we love you. You are the best parents in the world. Yes, JJ is telling the truth. You're the best. That's because you're our best kids. Go get some rest. JJ, we have the best parents. They gave us 10 diamonds. Now let's go to our room to rest, for tomorrow will be a long day. Yes, I totally agree with you. We need to get some rest tonight before we go tomorrow. Before we go on rest, we'll need to pack for the trip. Take something we can use. I'll go pack my rucksack, too. All right, Mikey. I'll get it all together now. Guys, how do you think our trip's gonna go? Do you go on field trips with your class? Let me know in the comments what you liked best. And I'm gonna go pack. The next day. Kids, did you forget anything at home? No, we got it all. Here we are. Your bus is coming soon. I wish the bus would come soon. Let's go to parents' bus stop. Yeah, let's go to them. Guys, Listen carefully to what you're told on the tour. Try to memorize all the information. Okay, Dad. That's what we'll do. And be very careful there. And don't stray anywhere from the tour guide. Look! There goes our bus! Finally! I thought we'd been forgotten! Yay! We finally got him! Now, we don't have to worry about not leaving. Boys, be very careful. If something happens, be sure to call us. Do you understand me? Yeah, Mom! Yes, of course! Mom! Dad! We gotta go! Bye! Bye, we love you. Mikey, wait for me. What's wrong? Don't you think the parents look a little sad? JJ, they're always like this when we go away. So, it's okay. Get in your seat. We're leaving. Mom, Dad, we'll miss you. Don't get too upset. We'll be careful. We'll call you when we get there. Okay, son. We'll miss you guys, too. Obey your guide. And stay close to everyone. We love you. Bye. Bye, guys. Be careful. Mikey, what are you looking forward to on this tour? I don't know. We've never been on one of these tours before, have you? 
I expect it to be very beautiful there. See the local flora and fauna, and also make new acquaintances. Look, it's the gas station we went to with parents. It's true! I remember her! They used to buy us candy for the road. Right, and I didn't remember that. How long do you think it'll take us to get to our destination? I don't know, JJ, but I hope we don't have long to go. I hope so too! Oh, I'm so very tired. I really want to go to sleep now. And so, the pulse is very weak, but it's there. We need to get them to the hospital right away. The sooner the better. Oh no, no way, are we dead? But how? I don't remember anything. What about Mikey? Where is he? JJ, where are we? What happened to us? I don't remember anything. Who are these people? Why don't you explain to me? What's going on here? Mikey, it looks like we've become ghosts. JJ, look, our parents' car is coming. Let's go to them quickly. Maybe they'll see us. Daddy! Mommy, we're here! Can you see us? We're in front of you! Oh no! Our children! How did this happen to them? Comrade Policeman, how did this happen? Can you explain? Of course. Their bus fell off that bridge. The driver probably fell asleep at the wheel. Oh no! Our children! What's wrong with them now? Are they dead? No! Your children are alive! But they're in a very cretinous condition. In what's called a coma. They need to be taken to the hospital and put on a ventilator. What? Are we in a coma? I'm waiting for you at the hospital. I'm going to accompany him to get there faster. No way, I can't believe my eyes. Mikey, we'll have to get to the hospital too. But first, let's try to get a hold of our parents. JJ, I think it's futile, but let's give it a try. Mom, Dad, we're here, can you hear us? Mom, Dad, pay attention to us. We're in front of you, can you see us? Hey, Mikey, stop, they can't hear us or see us. JJ, then we need to get to the hospital. Maybe we can work something out. Okay. Mikey, one thing that makes me happy is that at least we're still alive. Oh, my babies. I still don't believe it. JJ, what do we do now? I don't have any ideas. Dear parents, I have some bad news for you. Your children are in a very serious condition. Doctor, what is their diagnosis? JJ, did you hear that? We are in very bad shape. What should we do? Your children are in a death coma. I'm going to consult with my colleagues and you can pray for them in the meantime. Oh my God, oh no. JJ, what are we gonna do? We're in a death coma. Honey, it's gonna be okay, don't worry. The doctor will figure something out. My boys, I love you so much. Why did this happen to you? Honey, let's pray for them. Mikey, we gotta figure something out. Hmm, oh, I got it. Look, they said something about prayers. God, what if we go to God and talk to him? Maybe he could help us come back to life. I think it would help, especially since we don't have any other options. Let's go find him. Mikey, are you sure that's going to help us? JJ, we don't really have any other options, so let's go check it out. So how do we find him? Mikey, do you have any ideas? Hmm, yeah, I got an idea. Let's go over there. Mikey, are you sure about this? Do you have a better idea? So, my idea is to call out to him until he hears us. Hey God, if you can hear us, take us to your house. Yes, take us away. Ah! 
Mikey, where are we? Hmm, interesting, interesting. This place is so beautiful and bright. <gasps> JJ, we're where we wanted to be. Wait, what? Look over there, JJ. Wow, they have halos over their heads. Those statues look so noble. Yeah, and they also look weird. Oh, what? Why are they reaching for each other with their hands? These guys are guarding the gate. Mikey doesn't understand anything. What are you saying? Forget it, Mikey. Oh, we're almost to the gate. I am very curious to know what is behind that door. Yeah, I'm curious too. JJ, let's hurry up. Mikey, what's your hurry? Well, oh, these guys scare me a little bit. Don't worry, JJ. If you haven't done anything wrong, you'll be fine. Oh, I sure hope so. Yay! This place is so special after all. What? Not again. <gasps> I'm a skibbity toilet god of this place. Oh! What are you people doing here? Uh, are you a good god or an evil god? Hmm. Huh, what do you think? Oh my god. JJ, what are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't trust him. Hmm. He doesn't look kind at all. Well... No, you're evil. Huh, how did you guess? Uh, look at this, you little boys. Oh my god! Ah, uh, who called me? <gasps> oh, save me. I'm locked in here. Oh! That evil toilet god did this to me. Wow. Please What's the matter, me? Mikey? Well, that's kind of weird. Let's fight him. Yes, I agree with you, but it's weird that God can't free himself. Yes, but we have to help. Yeah, let's do it. There's nothing you can do to me. Attack! Hi no, ah! Yeah, there's no evil god now. Cool. Uh, that was kind of easy. Look, Mikey, are we that strong or was that god that weak? Mm. Did you guys remember me? Oh, that's right, Mikey. Will you release him? Okay, okay. Thank you so much for the rescue. You're welcome. We had to do it. Oh, the fresh air, heavenly skies, beautiful. Yay! In gratitude for my rescue, I'm willing to give you the most precious thing in the world. Whoa, what's that? I don't know, but if it's something from God himself... This must be something cool. I give you a second life. <gasps> oh, my God. Huh, I'm glad you keep mentioning me. Now it's time for you both to go home. Enjoy life and take care of it. Oh my god. Oh, is this a hospital? Hey guys, we did it. We were able to get back to our parents. I'm so glad we were able to make it back. Hey, mom, dad, we're back. Mikey, JJ, we're so glad you're okay. We have been helped by a lovely person back here. You finally come to your senses. We're so glad. We were so worried about you. We missed you so much. Words can't express it. We missed you guys a lot, too. Two thousand years later. JJ, do you remember when I spit in the teacher's coffee? Yeah, Mikey, I remember that. JJ, do you remember when I slapped my literature teacher on the buttocks with a wet blackboard rag? Yeah, Mikey, I remember that, too. And you argued with me about who's the biggest bully in school. Okay, Mikey, you're the best. Now let's go home. I'm tired of our school. You're tired because you've been studying. I was having fun. You got your priorities wrong, bro. Your priorities may get our parents called back to school. It's not a big deal. So what if a teacher wants to stab me with a knife? Oh, I don't want to remember that horrible day. Just don't tell your parents about your exploits, okay? Okay, otherwise you're the one who's always getting punished. Imagine that, just the three of us. You, me, and the sea, and no one else around. What about our kids? And here we are. We're back from school. Oh, hey kids, we were just discussing something. Don't tell them. What do you want to tell us? Is this some kind of surprise? We have a hot ticket to the sea, and we wonder if you want to come with us. But I wouldn't want to take them. Imagine the sea, the beach, lots of fun, all thanks to this ticket. Wow, that's awesome. Really cool. Don't you want to come with us? I want to go to the seaside. Yes, I want to go to the sea too. Oh, this is bad. Then pack your things. We're leaving soon. What kind of things do we need? Swimsuits, t-shirts, we're going to the sea. Go get ready. We're wasting time. Okay, we get it. I'll take my favorite life preserver. Don't forget to deflate it, Mikey. Of course I'm gonna blow it off. You think I'm that stupid? Let's go pack already. I think our parents would like to go as a couple. Yeah, I heard them talking before we got here. Dad's obviously not happy that we're going with them. Mikey, I hope you're not taking your toys to the seaside. No, of course not. We'll take only the necessities. For this moment, I already have suitcases of clothes ready for me and you. Wow. Wow, Mikey, you're so thoughtful. Uh, sure. If it comes to the sea, I'm ready any minute. There are a couple toys here, of course, but it doesn't take up much space. Swim trunks, inflatable lap, t-shirts, and shorts. I don't think you need any clothes at all at sea. It's always hot there. JJ, I didn't think you'd be lying on a nudist beach. It was a joke, Mikey. At least I have enough clothes that I'm wearing. JJ, look! Our parents are already packed and waiting for us at their car. Children, let's go quickly. Mikey, let's go. We might miss the plane. There's no waiting for latecomers at the airport. Mom, Dad, we're ready to go. That was fast. We wanted to go without you. Dad's always joking around. Get in the car and let's go. I wasn't joking. Where should we put our suitcases? I think there's still space in the trunk for your stuff. Oh, that's great. We're waiting for you in the car. It's nice not having to go to school tomorrow. The teacher will be jealous. While she's puffing at the blackboard, I'll be splashing in the sea. Mikey, you like school, don't you? Between school and the sea, I'd choose the latter. Get in the car already. We're going to the sea, cool. Everyone is so excited about the trip. And you guys, have you ever been to the sea? Write about it in the comments. JJ, who were you talking to on the street? I was talking to my favorite viewers. Oh, you're making a video for your channel again? Yes, just like always. Three hours later. 
There's always something weird going on in your videos. What could be so strange about it? I don't know. Something bad could happen. Honey, you're being too pessimistic. We're going to the sea. Smile more often. Okay, okay. I hope we're gonna be all right. We arrived at the airport. We're not even late. Yeah, that's cool, but where's our plane? JJ, this is it. This is the wreck we're gonna fly. Looks like a nice airplane to me. It's a beautiful airplane. Yeah, it's so big. I hope we are being driven by experienced pilots. Oh, I don't know who's even gonna be there. Here come our professional pilots. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Behave yourself, trainee. What? You have a trainee pilot? Actually, we're both trainees. What? Do you even know how to fly an airplane? No, but we've read the instructions. Don't worry. I think the flight will be a success. I think so. Don't you think that's strange? Don't don't worry about it. We passed our pilot's license on a computer game. We are true professionals. I don't know. I don't trust them. It's late, JJ. This trip is too expensive to be canceled. But they've never been on an airplane. JJ, they said they were flying an airplane in a computer game. They know what they're doing. We trust them. Yeah, JJ. You're the pessimist here, not your father. That's right. JJ, don't be afraid. The airplane is safe. But I'm still scared anyway. You'll fall asleep and you'll be on the sea. Okay. Says board 2218. Flight stable. The landing gear is loose, but it's not critical. The flight is organized by the airline company Jmeek Airlines. Have fun flying. You know, it's like a famous airline. I'm not scared to sit here anymore. Here we go, JJ. And you were afraid. The plane doesn't even shake. Yeah, kids, we're going to the sea. Yes, I can't wait to go to the sea. It's good that everyone is in a great mood. It calms me down. I wonder if I could survive if I jumped off an airplane into the water from that height. I think it's a bad idea, Mikey. It's too high. But the water's soft. I can't break. We'll have to try it on the way back. You're kidding me again, Mikey. Hey, what does this button do? Oh, I don't know. Let's press it and see See what happens. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh my god, what did you do? We're falling. Oh my god, this didn't happen in the computer games. What's going on? Idiot, we're going down. Run for your lives. Oh my god, what was that button? What's going on? Why is the plane tilting? Looks like we're going down. We're falling, children, we're falling. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Maybe we should just buckle up and wait. And you all called me a pessimist. Quiet, everybody. Maybe the pilots can stabilize the situation. There's no way they're fixing the plane. I can see fire from the wind window. Oh my god, my leg looks like it's twisted. It hurts so bad. Oh, I think I survived the plane crash. Yeah, the plane broke down pretty badly. I don't think it'll ever take off again. Shouldn't have trusted those trainee pilots. Two idiots who shouldn't have been allowed on the plane. Okay, we gotta get out of here, Mikey. Get up. Mikey? What's wrong with you? Are you even alive? Please, wake up. Mom? Dad? Please wake up. Don't leave me alone. Please, don't die in front of me. It's that stupid airplane. He's not taking my parents away from me. Dad, wake up, please, don't die. Oh, who's coming? It's an ambulance. They're just in time. They're gonna save my family. I hope they at least know their jobs, unlike those two pilots. God, please save my family. I don't want them to die. I'm starting to feel sick too. Oh my god, my head is cracking. Kid, wake up! Woo, you're alive! You're a miracle survivor, man! What's going on? Where am I? You're in the hospital. You're being treated for a plane crash. Just don't make any sudden movements. We've worked hard to revive you. Where's my family? Are they alive? I'm sorry to say this, but we couldn't save them. They're all dead. We tried to save them. What? How come you couldn't save them? You're a doctor. You're saving people's lives. I'm sorry, boy. Not all lives in this world can be saved. But how am I supposed to live without them? You're a strong boy. Surviving an accident like that is a big deal. By the way, do you know what this says? I'm in trainee at this hospital. Oh my god, why am I surrounded by idiots? No one can do their job. Friends, can you please like this video? I feel really bad. Maybe this will help me. Now I should get out of this hospital. Oh my god. There's our house. We never got to go to the sea as a family. I need the sea badly. I want my family back. The house seems so empty. My parents were here to greet me. They were always happy to see me. And Mikey was always sitting at the TV watching his cartoons for days on end. Now he's gone. Just like mom and dad. Oh my god, I miss them so much. They were so good. Why did they die and not me? I can't live alone without my family. We were so happy together back in the day. I'm lonely. Friends, treasure your families. They are the most important thing you have. Four to six days later. Mom, you were the most caring and loving mom in the world. You've always loved me. Mikey, without you, my life will be miserable. I can't imagine my life without you. Dad, you've always been a wise and just father. Your admonitions will not pass me by. I will always love you all. I will never forget my family. You'll live alive in my heart. Yeah, well, JJ's been pretty upset about our deaths. Well, what did you think? People feel bad when their loved ones die. But still, I'm sorry to see him suffer too. I actually thought he'd be happy because he survived. Live and enjoy life, don't mourn.
What? I heard a noise. No one's in the cemetery. Maybe it's the ghosts of my family. I don't believe in ghosts, but I definitely heard a noise. Maybe I'm imagining it. Um, it looks like he's guessing we're here. Yes, he suspects we're here in ghost form, but he can't hear us. It was Mikey who broke the grass and scared him with it. Did I scare him? That's funny. I'm gonna scare him again. Even in ghost form, I can still mess with my brother. Not another rustle around. Only the sound of rain dripping on the graves can be heard. I guess I was imagining things. I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, what? I heard that? It's the ghosts of my family. They're giving me signs that they're near. Yes, it's definitely them. I can't see them, but I'm sure they can hear me. If ghosts exist in this world, then I can resurrect them. Raise Mikey, mom and dad from the dead. Friends, have you ever seen a ghost? Write about it in the comments. I didn't see them, but I heard them. I think I know who will help me. There's a strange shaman sitting here somewhere who talks to spirits. Oh my god, what a weird dude. It's definitely that crazy shaman. Uh, excuse me, I need your help. You can talk to spirits, right? Talking to ghosts? Boy, I've been in contact with them since birth. I know everything about them. Oh, that's awesome. I heard my parents' ghosts in the cemetery. I need to resurrect them. Resurrect? I haven't done that in decades. It's a very dangerous shamanic ritual. Boy, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, of course. I'll do anything to get my family back. Ooh, I like that attitude. For the ritual, we need to come to my church. Church of Hell. The Church of Hell? Really? Yeah, that's what it's called on Google Maps. It's just a church to me. All right, let's go. Here's the one. The Church of Hell. It looks like an ordinary, unpretentious building, but inside, it's pretty scary. Are you trying to scare me? I survived falling out of an airplane. Nothing scares me, especially some Church of Satanists. Boy, you're confused. Satanists are one thing, but spirits and shamanism are something else entirely. Behold the Church of Hell. Wow, the church looks really creepy. Yeah, I love that style. Come here, don't be afraid. I'm going to prepare the resurrection ritual. Yeah. Yeah, it's a regular set like in some movie. You don't understand. I'm the shaman here. It's all about communicating with the spirits. You want to resurrect your family, don't you? Of course I want to. Then step back. I must set up the fires of spiritualism. They will create a thread between you and the spirits of your family. Oh my god. Soulmates of this boy, come to the world of the living. May they return by lightning to their physical bodies. May they come back to their living form. May the other world give them a second chance. There's no place for them in heaven or hell. Come back to life, for I need you here, alive, here and now. Rise up, everyone. What? Where are we? Weren't we in a cemetery? Are we in a church? What? You got it already? JJ, hey. Mommy, Daddy, Mikey, you're alive. Hey, JJ, you brought us back to life. I'm so happy to see you all. I had the help of this shaman here. Hey, everybody. A true genius. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. You're the best shaman in the world. Yeah, you're very cool. Thank you all. You're welcome. It's just my job. You're a true professional, not like some trainee. Bye-bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Well, I thought I was dead forever. Yeah, me too. We've all been dead. But if it weren't for JJ, we'd still be lying in our graves. Yeah, you're right. And we're going home. Children, catch up with us. JJ, you're the best. Kids, what are you standing there for? Let's go home already. Yeah, we're gonna go now. Well, JJ, we didn't go to sea, but we went to heaven. It's so boring up there, you know? Yeah, Mikey. But here in the world of living people, we're gonna have a lot of fun. The next day... Hey, we're in school today. Hmm. This is a cool moment in my life. School. JJ, we come here every day. Just calm down. Mikey, huh? I'm just really excited. Well, I'm excited too, but I'm not ready to talk about I'm in school, yay, every day. You don't like it? Oh, that really pisses me off, JJ. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, apology accepted. Just don't do it again, okay? Uh, okay. Well, it's a deal. Hmm. We'd better get back to class or the teacher will be back soon. That's right. She's kind, but she doesn't like it when someone's late. Yes, I still remember the story about Bob. That's right. She would leave him after school to wait until she finished her work to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I couldn't stand sitting in school that long. Viewers, do you think school is cool or not cool? Of course not. Write your opinion in the comments. I like learning, but not school. Oh, the teacher's here. Be quiet. Okay, kids, I'm gonna ask for quiet. Hmm. It's good to see you all today. Good, good morning, morning, teacher. Oh, good morning. I have some wonderful news for you. Oh, hmm. The school is holding a contest among the students for the best photo. Whoa. Whoever takes the best photo gets $1,000. Oh. What? Oh, my God. $1,000. Yes, children, be quiet. Oh. The school wants you to take a photo of something cool cool or unusual. Good luck, everyone. Mikey, I want in. Yes, that sounds very interesting. You can take pictures outside of school. Wow. There are no restrictions. Mikey. JJ, we have to get involved. Yeah. We just take a photo of something interesting and that's it. The prize is in our pocket. Oh, you heard it.
it. It was the bell from class. Guys, since it's a shortened day, I'm letting you all go home. JJ, we're free. Let's go tomorrow. outside. Yeah, let's go. We'll take the best photos and make tons of money. Yeah. Have you thought about what you want to photograph, by the way? Oh, well, I'm thinking of photographing the beauty of nature. The beauty of nature? Uh, huh, you're so naive, JJ. Wait, why? Because there will be lots of nature pictures. I'm sure of it. No, I'm going to have special photos. JJ, you've got to bring people out in colorful emotions. Oh, uh, what? And you can get a little admiration for nature in the park. Mikey, stop saying that. I like nature. And you don't care at all about what I love. Mikey! We do what you want all the time. I'm sick of it. But Mikey... I'll take the photo I want. Uh, and I'm going to do it all by myself. Mikey, wait! Don't follow me. Take your stupid nature photos. Stupid nature photos? Mikey, I've always been willing to forgive you, but this time you hurt my feelings too much. I'll take such a good photo that you'll have to apologize to me and nature. JJ doesn't understand anything about art at all. And photography is art. And art is all about bringing out vivid emotion. I must teach him a lesson. <gasps> That's what I need. Wow, I didn't realize there was such a work of art not that far from the school. Now that's the kind of picture that would be 100% worthy of a contest at school. I'll take some photos and pick the best one. That's what really brings out the vivid emotions. Garbage. Everyone will be shocked, but it's just what I need. I'm sure JJ definitely wouldn't take a better photo than mine. What could be more unusual in the city than this? Exactly nothing. It's been hours since I've been looking for something pretty to photograph. So finally, I found the best place with the best views of the beautiful nature. And just now the sun is going over the horizon. It's the best moment for a photo. Look at this beauty. Nature is beautiful. I'm sure Mikey won't find anything more beautiful than this. Oh, I'm getting a bit chatty. It's getting late. I'll take some pictures and go home. Oh, wow, the sun gets so big when sunset happens. I'm obligated to photograph this exact moment. Just a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. No, ah, mommy, daddy, Mikey, help. I don't want to die. Ouch. Wait a second. Oh, it's weird, but I don't have any pain. Hmm. Oh my God, is that me? I don't believe it. This can't be happening. I just wanted to take a nice photo. I didn't want it to end this way. I wasn't standing right on the edge. Why did I fall? Uh, wait, was I too close to the edge? Oh, I guess I didn't see it, Nightmare. It was very scary. Will my body just stay here? Hmm, no, I have to go home. Try to talk to my family. Two hours later. I've gone very far indeed. I can't imagine explaining to them where my body is. Okay, I'll think about it later. I'm almost home. Ah, home sweet home. It's peaceful and calm here as always. That actually makes me happy. Hmm, I wonder if my family misses me now. They must just be sitting peacefully drinking tea. Uh, how do I get in? Oh, I'm a ghost. They might not see Mikey, me. Mikey, what happened? Well, we had a big fight with JJ and split up to take pictures. I don't know where he is. Mikey. He didn't come back to school. What have we done, God? Where could he have gone? He said he was going nature photography. Yes, that's right. But there are so many places with nature. Maybe he's still in the I'm city. here. We'll need to look at every bush. Dad, at oh, least huh? see me. Honey, this is going to be really hard. Mommy, I know where my body is. We don't have any leads. It's so sad. I wish you could hear me. Hmm. Then I could help you and myself. Oh, then we'll put up flyers all over town. Oh! Yeah, we should split up. I looked pretty good. Yeah, how do we do it? Who goes where? Hmm. We have to see the whole city. Yes, you're right. Hmm. But we should also check out the police station. Yes, that would be the right thing to do. They may have found our lost JJ. Mommy, they don't know anything. Honey, we'll find him. I'm the only one who knows. Mommy! All right, let's go outside. We'll divide up who's going where. Yes, let's not waste any more time talking. Mommy, what if I get lost too if I go alone? Don't worry, I'll only let you go to a safe neighborhood. Oh, hmm. Everything will be fine. All right, Mom. There's no point in you going around town. I'm here and my body's not here. Well, let's get some directions. Okay, okay. I'm going to that part of town. Hmm. And you, Mikey, go to that part of town. Okay. And your father will go to the police station. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Oh, I hope JJ is okay. We're very hopeful, too. Good luck with our search, Mikey. Yes, we'll definitely find him. Oh! Oh, JJ, where'd you go? Hmm. I feel really guilty about what I said to you the other day. Are you really sorry? I hope you didn't go too far. Then you had to admit that nature is cool, too. I promise that when I see you again, I'll make it up to you. Really? I've got flyers to put up. Oh, my sweet boy. I hope you're around somewhere. How could I have missed this moment? Oh, on the other hand, I had no way of knowing about it. Mikey came in crying last night. It was awful. I don't think these flyers will help us, but it's all we can do right now. Maybe someone saw JJ and will tell us about it. JJ, the whole family is very worried about you. Please come home to us. Oh, what a bore. No interesting investigations or events. 
Who's there? It's Speaker Man. Oh, Mr. Speaker Man, please come in. Don't stand outside the door. I'm glad you remembered old acquaintances, officer. Ha! Insulting, old friend. I'm here on business. My son is missing. Wait, what? Yesterday he went somewhere after school and didn't come back. We're worried sick. What a misfortune. Can your boys find him? Oh, I'll do my best, old boy. I'll get everyone I can on the case. If there's any news, I'll let you know. Really? After all, I vividly remember that moment when you helped me with my problems. Cool. Two hours later. Mikey's been hanging flyers here for four hours. Stop torturing yourself, Mikey. It's not enough. You don't think that's enough? My face is on every house in this neighborhood. I don't have many flyers left. Well, good, because no one knows where the body is but me. It's no time to be sad. I owe it to myself to do the best of my ability. Oh, and then you'll have to tear off all these flyers. I feel like I could have put up more flyers, but I don't have many left. Well, no more. What are you doing, Mikey? I get that I'm handsome, but why are there a lot of flyers with me on them every 100 inches? Well... Well, you could just guess that I've gone into the woods and I've been out of town a long time instead of hanging up these flyers. JJ, where are you? No shame, no conscience. If you hang flyers, at least hang them straight. That's it. I'm out of flyers. So what are you going to do now? Oh, hmm. I gotta tell my mom that I did everything here. Oh my god, what's in it for you? What's the result? JJ, find yourself. I know where I am, but you don't want to think. I'll have to tell my mom I didn't find it here. I didn't know you were like this, Mikey. Just please hear me. Oh, hmm, wait a second. Mikey, did you really hear me? Don't be silent. Say something back to me. Hmm. Say me something. JJ, you're a little crooked. Oh, what? I think I need to tweak you a bit. Oh my god. Oh no, that's not true. You're seriously going to level a poster with that kind of reaction. Yes, it looks a lot better now. You're a crazy perfectionist, Mikey. It's time to go home. My work is completely done here. And talking to me wasn't part of your plan, huh? Well, what am I supposed to do? So what are you doing here? You want to tweak something again? Hmm. Oh, JJ, I missed you so much. Uh, Please come home soon. Hmm. After all, everyone is very worried about you. Yes, I would love to go back. But as you cannot see, I can't do that. Hmm. I have to figure out how to help them find me. Otherwise, their investigation will go nowhere. They'll still think I'm lost somewhere in the city. My parents and I agreed to meet here. Where are they? <laughs> Mikey, we're here. Yay! Were you able to find out anything? No, Mom. It's a shame. Have you two been able to figure anything out? No, and we've got nothing. Oh, hmm. Huh. The police station can't help us much either. Well... I'm the one who needs to come up with something now, not the other way around. What are we gonna Think, do? JJ, use your brain. Oh, that's right. I had dirt in the inventory. With this, I can show them the way to my body. Mikey, we're out of ideas. But what about JJ? All we have to do is wait for a miracle. <gasps> like this miracle. No, Mikey. You don't understand me. Look behind your backs. All right, let's help Mikey. Here, do you see this? Wow, that's incredible. What's going on? I think someone is trying to help us. Okay, let's try to follow this trail of dirt. Yes, come on. I'll get you to the right place. It's so unusual. Mikey, take your time. I'm a little freaked out. We're right there with you. You just take your time. Okay, I wonder what is this creature that's dumping dirt in here? Oh, Mikey, you'll be surprised when you find find out that creature was your brother. Look, there's more dirt. There's really a lot of that dirt. Come on, my family, follow me quickly. So, a little more. We've come far into the woods. Here I am, look. <gasps> my boy. JJ. You see, you were looking in the wrong place. JJ. Hmm. Uh, JJ, what about JJ? Why isn't he waking up? Mikey, we're too late. No, I don't believe that. Mikey, your mom's right. We can't do anything. He's been here too long. Come on, get up. You can see that everyone misses you and is worried about you. JJ. Please help me get back into my body. My little boy. Please, I want to go back to them. My son. God, Help me, I'll do anything for you. Uh, where am I? Am I completely dead? I'm too young to die now. Ahem, ahem. Uh, oh my god. First rule, uh, don't say the god's name here. Okay. You've mentioned me a lot, for that I commend you. Sounds contradictory. You said you would do anything to return to the world of the living, is that true? Yes, our holy light. A holy light? All right, don't distract me. Hmm. Well, you solve my riddle, and I'll return you to your family. I agree. Hmm. What belongs to you, but others use it more often than you. Uh, You've only got three tries, think JJ. Oh, I remember my mom saying something similar to that to me once. Could that be my pen? No, JJ, that's the wrong answer. But why? I'll give you a hint. It's only spiritually connected to you. A soul? Oh, what am I going to do with this child? <clears throat> the answer was name. Remember that? Oh my god. Will I be a ghost forever? No, JJ, we see you. Really? JJ, it's a miracle you came back to life. I'm so happy, darling. We're very excited. JJ, we've been looking for you. Yeah, Mikey, I know. How did you even get here? I wanted to take a good picture from the top of that cliff and I flew off it. But you survived. It's unbelievable. Please don't scare us like that again. We're worried. Okay, Mom and Dad. Also, I'm sorry. Would you forgive Mikey in that situation? Yay! Write your answers in the comments. A few moments later. You all have no idea what news I have today. 
I'm having a baby brother or sister. But honestly, I'd like a little brother for myself. We were told it was 100% going to be a boy. Nice. I was so happy when I heard that. Oh, darling. Your mom is due to have a baby any day now. Cool. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Let's take care of her before it's labor time. Mom, is it hard for you to walk? Yeah, just a little bit, honey. Honey, I'll carry you. Don't worry. Are you sure you won't have a hard What's time? What's the trouble, dear? Oh. You're still as light as a feather as ever. <laughs> wow, Daddy, you're so strong. Yeah. I want to help my mom, too. Of course we're going to need your help, too, JJ. Yay, where do we start? First, I just need to get your mom into the bedroom and let her rest. Uh, okay. But darling, I must make dinner for you both. In your condition, rest is important. Yes, Mom, rest. Well done, JJ. Daddy, here you are helping Mommy move around the house. Yes, I have no choice but to help your beautiful mom right now. What can I do to help? Well... My dears, I'd like a snack. I'm a little hungry. Oh, my God. No problem, my love. <clears throat> JJ, let's go out in the hallway for a minute. Okay, Dad. Honey, have some relaxation and don't worry about a thing. Uh... Well, JJ, as you may have noticed, we don't have anything to eat at home. Yes, Dad, I noticed. What are we going to do? So go to the store and get your mom some fruit, okay? Sure, I'll go to the store. No problem. That's great. We seem to have one carrot and a loaf left in the fridge, but I don't think your mom would want that. Hmm, I understand her. So hurry up. Okay, Dad. And don't buy your mom peaches, you understand? Yeah, one foot here, one foot there. Before they know it, I'll be coming home with a bag of delicious fruit. I can't wait for the baby to be born. I wonder if what the mom eats makes the baby feel bad or good.